my mom's drive has driven, has encouraged me and inspired me to be better. And when I was younger, it might have felt like too much. But being where I am now, having my own kids, I think I understand more now why she pushed me better. Ah, uh, please, I'm here, I'm here. There will be no crying tonight. I'm just saying it. So I can speak there because I know. We are still in celebration mode for the media giant, an African power girl, a very, very strong force to be reckoned with, Mo Abudu, as she turned 60 years old a few days ago. Her birthday celebration definitely kept us entertained and glued to our phones, guys, because she had so much fun. And I believe that she actually deserves the best. She deserved the amazing birthday experience that she had. Her friends and family traveled from all over the world down to Lagos to celebrate her from her sip and paint session with her friends to the thanksgiving service to the diamond jubilee celebration to mo's wonderland which was the grand finale to the birthday party and her beautiful pictures of course that she ser serenaded us with on the ground guys mo abudu definitely deserves all the celebration that she can get because she is such an amazing woman a media giant a force to be reckoned with and a trailblazer in every sense of the word she did not just start her professional career guys of course you know this she started as far back as 1987 she later came down to nigeria to head the human resources department of exxon mobile she she's the founder of vic lawrence and associates limited she also conceived the protea hotel oakwood park she went on to create and produce moments with mo and she later founded ebony live television a lifestyle network so permit me to say that mo abudu definitely deserves all the celebrations that she can actually get happy 60th birthday to mo abudu guys enjoy watch and we will chat in the video Nigeria, 
that I knew that I wouldn't get as many eyes. But you know, I'm very careful because when you have friends, you also don't want it to seem as if you're taking advantage. So it took me a long time to now go to him and say, Mo, I've struggled, I've tried everything to put this on Netflix, but it's not happening. Mo took it as if it was her own movie. You know, before they, you know, they look at it and say whatever, in three weeks, they have said yes, they love the movie. Now, I think that wasn't enough. The offer that the others, I congratulate you. I want to celebrate your heart. You often say you're misunderstood, but those who know you know you and God knows you. I celebrate your heart. I celebrate your authenticity. I celebrate, celebrate the fact that you know who you are and you will not let society or anyone define you. I think that is commendable. I celebrate your industry, the hard work you have done to get to where you are. I celebrate your courage and your tenacity. But most of all, I celebrate your love for God. Because in everything you do, you always put God first. You always celebrate God. How are you not going to be the greatest and the best? I love you, my dear. Congratulations. Thank you. You have prayed. You have planted. So, very sweet is my life. And to your generations, you will see you. And I just think, today is Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving day. I am proud to have you as a daughter. I'm so proud. I know that it is just by his might. It's nothing but just by his might. It's by his power, it's by his glory. You know, I, my mom has been my pillar, she's my prayer partner. She's, you know, she's my number one fan. Mommy, I thank you. I give you all the glory for God, for what God has been able to do in your life, for the support you've been able to give me, to my sisters that flew in from London, to all my friends from South Africa, from France, from Germany.